What's going on, baseball fans? So this year, my Red Sox are a steaming, stinking, steaming, stinking pile of grade A monkey crap. And just the other day, Ken Rosenthal suggested that the Red Sox could look into trading Xander Bogart. So in this video, I'm going to discuss whether or not the Red Sox should trade Xander Bogart. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. Here are some reasons why the Red Sox should trade Xander Bogart. As of right now, the Red Sox only have two prospects in the top 100 prospects on MLB.com, and that's Jeter Downs and Tristan Cassis. When Dave Dombrowski came to the Red Sox in 2015, he started to make a flurry of trades, such as trading for Chris Sale from the White Sox, Craig Kimbrell and Drew Pomerantz from the Padres, Nathan Ivaldi from the Rays, Eduardo Nunez from the Giants, Ian Kinsler from the Angels, Addison Reed from the Mets, Carson Smith from the Mariners, Aaron Hill from the Brewers, Brad Ziegler from the Diamondbacks, Tyler Thornburg from the Brewers, Fernando Abad from the Twins, Rajai Davis from the A's, Andrew Kashner from the Orioles, and many more. So you get the hint, a lot of depth from the Red Sox farm system was depleted because of these trades. However, with Dave Dombrowski heading out of town, Heim Bloom came into town and was given the task of clearing payroll along with restocking the farm. Immediately, Bloom made an impact, trading away the face of the franchise in Mookie Betts along with David Price. With this though, they were able to bring back a package of young talent including Alex Verdugo, Jeter Downs, and Connor Wong. Another thing to add about Bloom is he's well known for his advanced analytical abilities as well as finding and developing starting pitching, and he even came up with a developmental program called the Rays Way, which has been pivotal for the Rays development. With Xander Bogarts on a team-friendly six-year, $120 million deal, and considering he's one of the best shortstops in the game, along with being one of the better hitters in the game, he should bring back a very good package of young players it would for sure bring back a lot more value than Mookie Betts did due to the fact that Mookie only had one year left until free agency at the time. With Bogart signed up until 2025, along with a vesting option for 2026, the fact that he's still only 27 right now and being just really good, Bogart should bring back a stacked package of prospects. This is where all of this was started when Rosenthal wrote an article mentioning his no trade clause kicking in on September 6. He also has an opt out after the 2022 season. If there is any time to trade him, it's now. When the no trade clause kicks in, that gives Bogarts the power to veto a trade, which would complicate trade matters. As for the opt out, that's tricky as well. With the way players are getting paid in today's era, it is pretty much a guarantee he would get a much larger contract on the open market at that point considering he'd still be on the right side of 30. I don't see him even coming close to digressing at that time, so he would most likely see a massive pay raise. While it would hurt to lose yet another franchise player after already trading away Mookie Betts, the Red Sox do have someone that can take over in the next couple of years. He actually came over in the Mookie Betts deal, and that man is Jeter Downs, who is currently the 48th ranked prospect on MLB.com. He's a well-rounded player who should be a solid player in the major leagues. He has a simple swing with strength that's capable of producing both average and power. While his range in the field could be better, he's smooth in the field with good hands, good footwork, and a good arm. He also has some speed along with a good base running IQ, so he's capable of stealing a decent amount of bases. In 2019, between single and double A, he hit 276 with 24 homers, 86 RBIs, and an 888 OPS. This gives Heim Bloom the opportunity to start fresh. As a Red Sox fan, I have to admit, the last decade has been a complete whirlwind. It's amazing they won two World Series in 2013 and 2018, but this came along with some sharp downward spirals. After winning it all in 2013, they proceeded to finish in last place in both 2014 and 2015 before making it back to the postseason in 2016. After winning it all in 2018, they proceeded to finish in third place with a team that had the highest payroll in the major leagues in 2019, and they're currently tied for second to last in all of baseball in 2020. After trading Mookie Betts, and now with the possibility of trading Bogarts, Bloom has a chance here to really hit the reset button and go all in on a rebuild that could benefit the long-term future of the franchise. Bloom is well regarded around Major League Baseball for how well he does in multiple aspects of the game in the front office, especially making trades and finding diamonds in the rough in a low payroll raise franchise. 
With the Rays, he made some notable trades, including getting rid of a declining Evan Longoria. They also traded away a declining Chris Archer to the Pirates that brought back Austin Meadows and Tyler Glasnow, who at the time weren't doing much in the minors, but ended up blooming with the Rays. That deal also brought back a player to be named later, which ended up being Shane Bass. He pitched really well in single A in 2019 and is currently the number five prospect in the Rays system. He also traded away Drew Smiley and got Malik Smith and Ryan Yarbrough in return. He actually traded away Nathan Evaldi to the Red Sox for Jalen Beeks, who's been great in their bullpen, and he was able to acquire Tommy Pham from the Cardinals, as well as trading for Emilio Pagan back in 2018 that ended up working out really well for them. He was also able to bring in Charlie Morton on a short deal, who performed very well in 2019. The point is here, Bloom can wheel and deal with the best of them, and while he has made some misses like most teams have, he's hit more than he's missed. Trading Bogarts would really make this Bloom's team, and he'll have the chance to build a contender for the long run. Here are some reasons why the Red Sox should not trade Xander Bogarts. He's getting $20 million a season, which might sound like a lot, but compared to other players putting up numbers like him, that's a bargain, especially when you compare it to other players like Manny Machado and his $300 million contract. How about Votto and his $225 million contract? Prince Fielder getting $214 million, and many more. Bogarts is a lot more valuable than a lot of these guys getting paid way more money, and Bogarts is doing it on a team-friendly deal. Bogarts' contract is very manageable, and it does not break the bank. As of right now, pretty much everyone is up for grabs in Boston. J.D. Martinez, Jackie Bradley Jr., Mitch Moreland, Nathan Ivaldi, the Cafeteria Lady, everyone. The Red Sox ultimately need to replenish their farm system in a big way, and trading away other guys would still bring back a good amount of prospects. Keeping Bogarts while trading others away for young talent would be a best-of-both-worlds situation. You get to keep your star player, and you still get to get a good crop of young guys back in. With Mookie Betts now a Dodger for the long term, this is officially Xander Bogart's team. He's the longest tenured Red Sox player who's been with the team since 2013 and has helped them win two World Series championships along the way. He's been a solid player since the start of his career, playing in no less than 136 games since coming up full-time in 2013. And he's really turned it on in the last couple of seasons. In 2019, he was one of the best offensive players, hitting 309 with 33 homers, 117 RBIs, and a 939 OPS, which resulted in a fifth place finish for AL MVP. He's a core player that is just entering his prime at only 27 years old. So those are the reasons I have for trading Xander Bogarts and not trading Xander Bogarts. So the question is, would I trade Xander Bogarts? I have no idea. So tell me down below in the comments, do you think the Red Sox should trade Xander Bogarts or do you think the Red Sox should keep Xander Bogarts? But that's all I got for this video today. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.